Hello guys, today we are going to be making a fishy world. Now you can use different colors and supplies. So first, we're going to start off with a crayon, a, something to color with, and a piece of paper. So first, we are going to draw the catfish. So the catfish, you're going to need to draw a tear shape. Now draw a triangle for its tail. You can draw two sea things. And you can pause the video if you need more time. Now you're going to connect them to the ground. Good. Now Let's draw its eyes. So we're going to draw two ovals here. Now, after you draw the ovals, you can color them in. Pause the video if you need more time. Now, of course, every fish needs a smile. So draw the little smiley face. Now, catfish have whiskers. So let's draw a little whiskers right here. Kind of looks like a mustache, doesn't it, Lisa? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Now, let's move on to part two. The frog. Now, you can add the lily pad if you want, but you don't need to. So, you're going to draw an oval. After you draw that oval, you are going to draw two triangle-ish things coming out from its bottom. Now make these parts longer. Now draw another part coming in like this to make it look like it has little legs. Now. Every leg, of course, needs its feet. So you're going to draw two little pointy things. Each of them. You can also make them like curve or something. So it's little feet. Now you can draw little hands right here. Pause the video if you need more time. Now, of course, it needs a face. So you draw two ovals and color them in. And then draw the smiley face. Now, of course, we want to have a lily pad, right, Lisa? Yeah. So draw a triangle kind of right under him. Now curve it around and connect. There you go, your own little lily pad. Now you can draw, now we're going to draw the goldfish. So for the goldfish, you're going to start off with the same shape as the catfish, except it's upside down. And you can try to put him to a tilt and make him smaller and fatter. That's the base for the goldfish. Mm -hmm. Then you can draw two little bumps here because it's making a fancy tail. Then kind of curve them in, then out on each side. Now you're gonna connect those lines. Now we're going to draw two kind of like things, arms coming out of him. And now you're going to connect it. And you are going to draw a line like this this and this. Now don't make it hard, just lightly add it. Good. 
Now, for its eyes, you're going to draw two ovals, and it'll look like you're drawing a sad face, but on his perspective, it'll be a smiley face. Because we're looking at him from up. So, you want to draw it like that. Now, let's color. But first, you want to make it look like he's, they're moving, right? Mm -hmm. So, let's draw three lines right here. On each of the fish. And... Cut this. So then it looks like the fishes are swimming and the, and the frog was hopping. So you can draw three lines. Okay, then uh, I drew squiggly lines around this to make it have a little more emphasis. And that means movement. So then around this one, I kind of drew like a barrier. Then some lines to make it look like it's swimming. Because fish don't just sit there in the water, they swim. Now, it's time to color. We're coloring in three, two, one. So guys, I know you did great on your um, fishy world drawings. Look at ours. Ours turned out great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and keep drawing. Bye. Bye.